Hey everyone, welcome to the Front Row with Ed. Today we're gonna to talk about the forgotten plank. A lot of people do front planks, side planks, but not a lot of people do the reverse plank. And the reverse plank, once again, is a great exercise. Simple to do, easy to make more challenging if you find that you're getting pretty strong with that. It's another way to get posterior chain strength, so we're talking about glutes, hamstrings. It's another way to work the core as well. Upper extremity strength, you can do it on your hands. You can do it on your elbow, just like the side plank and the front plank. So we'll talk about the different variations and how to make it a little bit easier and a little bit more challenging, especially if it hurts your wrist in certain positions. Make sure you keep watching to the end of the video because I will have some links there so you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't, as well as videos to other planking exercises and a nice way to test your core strength all the way around 360 to see if there's a particular plane of motion or groups of muscles that maybe you're neglecting that could be holding you back. Remember, you gotta train your weakest link and not keep training the strength. So train your weakest link. Let's take a look at the different variations. As with any plank, the goal is to be as straight as you can. When you're doing the reverse plank, you wanna look up towards the ceiling and not, oh, I just told them not to do that because when you look down at your feet, what happens is your butt's going to sag. So try to stay as straight as you can. If it gets easy, you can start to lift up one leg, lift up the other leg, and notice any differences in strength. Here I have a different hand position just in case it hurts your wrist to have your fingers pointed forward. You can also do the reverse plank on your elbows. It's just another way to get different strength in different areas. Once again, if the standard plank is easy, you can lift up one leg to make it a little bit more challenging. Another variation too is to put your feet up on a little step. Just makes it that much harder. Once again, you can lift up one leg if you need to or the other leg. Notice any differences from side to side and train the weakness. So as you can see, there's different ways to modify the reverse plank. Once again, elbows, hands, it's pretty easy to do. I recommend three sets and you might have to start off at 15 seconds, if not less. Ultimately, I want you to work up to three sets of about 30 seconds. And then as that becomes easier, you can make it more challenging by putting a step or lifting a leg or what have you. So check out these other videos here. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any questions on the reverse plank, please let me know and have a great day.